So these are some BMW remanufactured wheels. We're going to be coating them today with IGL clips with the Harbor Freight Avanti airbrush. We're going to prep the wheel by spraying it with some rubbing alcohol, wipe it down. These are brand new manufactured wheels. So there really isn't any finish to speak of on them. We're going to make sure we clean those barrels in the back of the spokes, get those nice and stripped down. And then we are going to move on to airbrushing the front and you don't have to do this very thick you just have to make sure you're thorough with your application and then you're going to let it sit for about a 30 seconds to a minute and then you're going to be uh, wiping off the excess uh, off of the face of the wheel uh, this stuff can get really tacky really sticky really fast so you have to be quick with it you do not want to let it dry unleveled it will look very foggy and strange uh, make sure you are leveling this stuff if you do have access to a product like eclipse So once I'm done applying to the barrel, we're gonna remove it very lightly. You don't wanna remove too much of the coating on the barrels. You want it to be as thick as possible, but you don't wanna leave it unleveled just because you don't want it to cloud up or look weird. Now we're gonna take our infrared lights and we're going to uh, cure these wheels. The fact that they're not being mounted or balanced for quite some time, I'm not really too worried about curing them all the way because they're just gonna get packaged up, put back in their bags when we're done and go right in the owner's uh, garage for storage until he's ready to mount and balance these. So we do let these sit under here for about 10 minutes a wheel. That will pretty much fully cure the coating, uh, especially Eclipse with how fast it dries. And we're just gonna put everything back on that the wheels came in, the uh, lip protector and the bag and, uh, and the skirt that goes around the wheel face. And we're just going to move on and do the other three wheels just like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That's how we coat wheels here. And um, occasionally we do it by hand depending on the complexity of the wheel. But uh, this is the fastest and easiest way to do wheels with a lot of spokes and a lot of complex angles. And uh, it's just a lot easier and less of a headache. So we're just going to bag this one up and move on to the other three.